Now, it's something that I noticed when I was doing my greenest lawn in the summer video. You see that spot right there, that brown spot. It's just sticking out like a sore thumb. Definitely have some leaf spot trying to develop. Now, if you do see any symptoms in your line like this, where you see some yellowing, it can be two things. It can either be leaf spot, where you will see lesions on the blade, little spots on the blade, or it'll be melting out, where some of that blade will be turning yellow. This is a prime example of melting out. The blade is green down here, then once it gets up this way, it turns yellow. See it? See how it's green down here, and then once it gets up here, it starts to turn yellow. It's melting out. Here's another example. Green. Then you start to see the black spots, black spots, black spots. That is leaf spot. So that's kind of mixed in all of this. This little area right here. You're seeing melting out, and you're seeing leaf spot all in this area now over here you don't see anything i mean you see absolutely nothing just pure green grass that's all you see but as you take a couple of steps see how you're starting to see it see how you're starting to see the yellow one the yellow one the yellow one the yellow one See how you're starting to see this yellow one? We're gonna go to our old friend, Propiconazole 14.3. This is gonna take care of that melting out and that leaf spot. As you can see in the directions, it's right next to each other. Melting out slash leaf spot. We need to go the max rate of two ounces per thousand square foot. The intervals is going to get us a good 14 days. Melting out, dash leaf spot. Same thing. Two things. I'm not happy, and I'm happy. I'm not happy because the disease is in the lawn, and I have to use another round of fungicides to be able to get that disease out. I am happy because now, not only do I know about it, which I already knew, but now you know how to identify melting out in leaf spot. So, I showed you the label. The only thing that you have to do is go out. If you're using Propiconazole 14.3, you put it down at two ounces per thousand square foot, which is the high rate, and that's what it recommends. If you do see the disease, you put that down, and then that should help you be able to clear up the disease and get it out of your lawn. Let me give you another example. We're going at the melting out slash leaf spot at the high rate of two ounces. But what if you don't have that and you're just going out at two ounces and you have spring dead spot and it tells you to go out at four ounces or you have ring spot and it tells you to go out at four ounces or you have yellow patch or zoysia patch and it tells you to go out to three to four ounces, which is of course another reason why I say make sure that you identify what the disease is before you start just putting things on your line at different ounces per thousand. Now it's understandable if you have brown patch, if you have dollar spot, those things that most people are really kind of familiar with. But a lot of people do not know about melting out and about leaf spots. So I showed you some examples. I want you to look at those examples closely. Go look at your line. This is the disease that you don't have to get out and look at it in the morning time and look for mycelium on the blades. You will see this in the morning, at nighttime, in the evening time, high noon. If you're seeing some yellowing in your grass, go look at it and see. See if it's melting out. See if it's leaf spot. 
another product that you can be able to use is eagle which is a group 3 fungicide the active ingredient in this product is microbutanil this product also takes care of leaf spot and melting out you put it down at 1.2 ounces per thousand square foot and your application intervals are every 14 and 21 days Clearies 3336, which is a group one, is another product that you can use. The active ingredient is styophanate methyl. You will put this down between four to six ounces per thousand square foot, and your application intervals will be every 14 days. See, I'm just trying to help you all out, man. That's all a bro trying to do. When I notice some things, I want to go ahead and bring it to you all, just in case if you all are running through the same situation, at least you will be able to know what to do now i know a lot of people may sit up there and say oh man my grass is turning brown because it's hot outside which in some cases it may be here in louisville the temperatures is in the mid 90s and the humidity is normally in the mid 90s or the hundreds which means it's smoking outside you all now if your grass is brown because of the heat that's what we call heat stress which means that your grass blade will needle up. It won't be wide. It'll needle up real thin. Now, if it's heat stress, you don't want to apply anything to it at all. Leave it alone. Wait till temperatures kind of cool down a little bit, get out of that heat a little bit, and then go ahead and feed it, and then your grass will bounce back. Normally, people will do those things in this area around like September sometime, mid-September, whenever people are kind of doing renovations. But, if your grass is money green like mine and the grass blades is wide and if you do see any grass blades that has any black spots on it or yellowing on it then you have the thumbs up to be able to apply those fungicides now one last tip remember you don't want to apply propiconazole 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 no make sure that you rotate them do propiconazole wait 14 days and then do eagle Wait another 14 days. You know, you want to basically rotate them. You don't want to do the same thing over and over and over because your grass will get used to that. There's no difference from when you're lifting 20 pound dumbbells. Eventually that dumbbell is going to get really, really light and your, your arm is going to get used to it and you're going to do what we call plateauing. You need to do a different exercise or you need to get a heavier weight. Either or, whichever way that you feel that you need to do. So I'm not going to hold you all any longer. I thank you all for holding on this long. I pray that you all have a blessed day. And I'm going to go ahead and end that video off with that famous catchphrase. One thing's for sure, two things for certain. Just know that we work it. Peace.